Hello guys and welcome back to Gas Kings. We have literally just got back from Birmingham NEC for the Autosport International Show. It was such an amazing event. And also, while I was there, I took a little trip to the Liberty Walk Stand. They were kind enough to give me not one, but two official Liberty Walk DVDs. I've signed them for you, so if you want to win that, links in the description to this video. And if you want to watch all the behind scenes of literally the whole day today, which is, I'm still filming, literally like Inception as I'm filming this, go have a look on the second channel called Gas Kings Vlogs. Links in the description as well. While I'm here, guys, we have got 14 of these left. We have just seven of these left. Literally, once they've all gone, it is sold out. So I'm gonna sign all remaining hats that we've got. So be quick or it'll be sold out. Let's crack on with the fucking news. Right, so to start us off, this week is Lotus. Lotus have stripped out a Lotus Exige. Gone are the windows, gone are the headlights and airbags, and it now just weighs 995 kilograms with 375 brake horsepower, a 0 to 62 time of 3.2 seconds, all powered from a supercharged V6. They have called it the Lotus Exige Race 380. Basically, it's a track ready little pocket rocket, and what will you expect to pay for all the mod cars to be removed? 99,000. 500 pounds. 100 grand for a Lotus. No, oh, thank you. Lexus have built something with two V8s. Unfortunately, it's not for the road. Following in Aston Martin's footsteps, Lexus have two taken to the water and produced a Lexus sports yacht. It's powered by two 5-litre V8 engines, it's 42 foot long, 885 brake horsepower and a top speed of 49 miles per hour. It comes packed full of gadgets like touchscreen, navigation, a sound system, and even a fridge. Decked out in leather, wood, and near invisible panel gaps. Want it? Well, they are only teasing us at the moment with this concept, but if enough interest, no doubt we'll be seeing a floating Lexus sometime in the near future. Mercedes have revealed that they're going to be unveiling their hypercar powered by their F1 technology called Project One in September at the Frankfurt Motor Show. It's been made to celebrate AMG's 50th anniversary and apparently will obliterate the Holy Trinity. They are actually expecting this to push beyond the likes of LaFerrari, McLaren P1, Porsche 918, and will also utilize the same hybrid system found in their current Mercedes F1 cars. They have already teased us with a little silhouette shot, but I can't wait to see this when it's actually revealed. And also the, the videos that's obviously gonna come out about the Project One versus the Aston Martin AMR B001 hypercar. It looks like Volkswagen are looking at making the camper van current again and bringing it up to speed with the future with this concept. Have a look at that. It is the ID Buzz. 369 brake horsepower, full electric capabilities, managing to cover 373 miles, fully autonomous, and seats that can swivel 180 degrees, and styling that would make this camp van look right at home in the Tron movie. 0 to 60 in six seconds, 100 miles per hour top speed, and the first ones are meant to go on sale by 2020. What do you think of that, guys? Fancy yourself an ID Buzz Tron camper van? So, Kia are finally gracing the Gas King's news, I think. Kia have finally entered the four-door performance car market with the Stinger. It's rear-wheel drive and comes complete with a two-litre turbo engine and top spec will see it come with a set of twin turbos mounted on a V6. What else do you get? Brembo brakes, multi-link suspension, Harman Kardon audio system, a 0 to 62 time in 5.1 seconds, and top speeds of 167 miles per hour. 365 brake horsepower, no manual option though, but instead we'll have an eight speed auto gearbox. Would you pay 30,000 pounds for a performance spec Kia? 30 grand for a Kia, ooh, not for me. We've saved the best till last. It's that time of week again. Cock of the week this week goes to a 26 year old who was clearly trying to impress a lady friend in a rented Ferrari 458. As she was screaming with excitement, he tries to take the corner at about 90 miles per hour. Of course, 
he didn't make the turn and ploughed the poor Italian beauty in barriers. He was clearly upset in the video as his last words was, I've clearly lost my license. For this, my Ferrari destroying friend, you get Cock of the Week. And that's it guys for another week of car news. Thank you so much for allowing this bit of piss slap to give you your weekly dose of car news. Some shout outs like I promised last week for those who put in the description when they were buying their Gas Kings merchandise that they wanted shout outs. So here it is, Grant Lester, Zach Corder, check him out on YouTube, Matt Smith, Joe Gilroy, Thunderbolt Gaming and Dara Mulhall. Thank you guys so, so much. There is your shout outs. Don't forget guys, enter the competition to win the Liberty Walk DVDs. That's in the description to this video. Go check out our second channel, which is Gas Kings Vlogs and come follow me on Instagram, gas.kings. Till next week guys, bye bye.